Hi, welcome to the market view for the Dow Jones for the 5th of September. That's Friday, the 5th of September 2014. Starting off with the five minute chart and the start of the trading session, we had some buying coming into the market here. We see prices uh, moving higher. This second bar is interesting. I'm not going to go through every bar in the chart, but just to highlight a few of the uh, salient points. The market coming off the high here and we see the increase in volume as well so we know there's a bit of selling around which obviously gets absorbed because the market then moves higher we then see some selling coming into the market with the up thrust but the market then follows this with uh, a professional buying bar and again the market trades sideways but the selling disappears and then the market just uh, trades up to the previous day's high which it had already done earlier on in the session if i can just uh, um, move this over that's what I was after it's just uh, to the left there so the market making a new all-time high uh, this point here and then eventually you see the market drifting sideways coming back down to the uh, 17,150 17,161 is the all-time high uh, made during yesterday so we see the sell signal coming in. This is below the BRN, which is really nice because uh, it's going to take uh, some new professional buying to move higher and uh, move back to the upside to make uh, all uh, to continue to uh, break the records of the all-time highs. So we see the sell signal coming into the market. So I'll just mark this up for you. I see the market trading down to the scalp. That's uh, 20 pips to this point. If you wish to trail the stop you have to wait for the market to close through the 20 point scalp which we see here we also see it here but then it trades back so you've got to make a decision on uh, if it closes back uh, you can't use the same theory because it's got to close below convincingly and then give lower highs which you will see if I just drag this across to here you can see it playing with it here but then eventually we start to see the trail down of the lower highs there and once the market starts to do this and this did it because obviously we were going through the uh, the lunchtime period in new york and then eventually you'll see from the there that's where the market would have actually uh, taken it out with the uh, resumed sort of the uh, early evening and late afternoon session for them we then had a second uh, trade which uh, I'll just mark up for you that also produced and went through the 20 point scalp and when you can see the difference when the market's busy you get uh, the lower highs as the market continues to move to the downside you also get the professional selling bells whereas here the market could uh, oscillate and just trade sideways until it eventually find its uh, uh, finds its uh, uh, defined range which it has here you can see it sort of coiling sideways bit of activity there bringing a few to the upside this signal failed as did this buy signal and then the market moving lower so then you can just keep putting the 100% on until eventually it stops out but of course you would have pulled out of this before the close anyway because the uh, uh, the spread on the uh, bid and ask actually widens after 2100 hours anyway so worst case scenario 17,061 uh, so giving just a, a few more pips there so let's just have a, a quick look and see what uh, was available on the table let me just remove some of these other lines just to clean up the chart we can remove the scalp and we can remove uh, this scalp here as well so we'll get rid of that I'll get rid of the right one there we go so we've got the entry price for this one we've got the entry and taken out for that and then entry and taken out for this one and the quickest way to do this is just to grab the uh, pip measurement tool draw this in and at the first one you'll see there's 25 pips and then from the second one down to whoops come back click on it we've got uh, down to 39 points there but had you traded down to uh, the support area, of course, uh, there will be uh, a few more on the table as well. 71 pips there. So another good, uh, decent day. Good week, actually, uh, on the Dow this week. Monday obviously closed. Tuesday was a bit, uh, there was a good day's trading on Tuesday. Wednesday, we had uh, six signals, no fills. Uh, so today, or yesterday, uh, good to see the market uh, 
actually filling the trades there. In the daily chart, you can see uh, this uh, all-time high being uh, made uh, during yesterday. It was uh, only briefly, and there was no professional buying. The market closing back below 17,150, giving the market the chance to move back to the downside. We are stuck in a sideways trading range. I'm just going to uh, pull in this for you. And you can see this uh, across the board there. We are stuck in a range from 17,154 down to 17,025. Today is uh, an interesting news day. We have uh, the non-farm payrolls. These are to be released uh, prior to the market opening at uh, 2.30. One thirty. this news is to be released. The unemployment rate is forecast to drop by 0.1%. Uh, but it, it will just be enough if this market is determined to continue to go on to make new highs. Anything less than this, of course, we'll see the market shake out. Fortunately, this happens before we start trading 1.30. It gives the market the opportunity to also settle down prior to the 2.30 opening as well. Right, well, that's it uh, for today, also for this week as well. Uh, wishing you a pleasant weekend. I will see you on Monday. Let's hope today we get a good reaction from the non-farm figures and plenty of uh, profitable signals as well. See you in the next one. As ever, thank you for your support. And uh, as ever, thanks for watching.